So one of the first steps is to grab something sharp um, and to put that thing into the reset button which I'm going to show a picture of right now. And uh, before you do that you grab your 16 gigs whatever your micro SD card and you put that into the GPS slot back here I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna show you that in a bit and after you did that you're gonna put the sharp thing into the reset button here it's a toothpick in my case you're gonna be holding it you're gonna be holding it after a while you'll see the buttons on the bottom left blink they're blinking so after they stop blinking you release the button and it should boot into the recovery mode then let's wait should boot into the recovery mode so you can see the logo here and boom back in the recovery mode so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wipe all the data and click and factory reset it. So you need to put in the sharp thingy in the reset button again and then click until you are there. Wipe data and factory reset. This wipes all user data. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay, wiping formatting. Good. So that's done. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, update the system here from the SD card, which is the correct one at that time. And it's installing it. That's great. That's very good. Okay, unmounting system partition, so it installed it right now. It's formatting the boot. So which what this does is it installs a custom let's say recovery I think and uh, with that it also installs remove the SD card it also installs matches screwed if I'm correct here so I'll reboot the system again so it's rebooting that's good Looks good to me so far. It still says Mali mod, or it's it's now saying Mali or Maliask mod because it installed the custom recovery. So after you did this, I hope you can see it. So after you did this, um, the update is installed and it'll reboot I think once or twice and although it doesn't show a boot logo or something don't be scared just wait it through leave your engine running which is probably the best idea because otherwise it'll might shut off during the process but as you can see now it has rebooted and it automatically also installed the Magisk Manager here I hope you can see it I and mean, it's very dark here Magisk Manager, you can see. All great. So, yeah, that's it. That's how you install the the Magisk Manager on your stock ROM Xtron's TE 103 AP radio. Um, thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, thanks for watching.